Okay. So for uh, measurement uh, for latent variable and measurement of latent variable in social science, uh, we need to assess uh, two important things, reliability and validity of latent variable. So when we assess reliability and validity, means uh, actually we assess measurement model and in measurement level. What's the meaning of reliability? Okay, we develop some items to measure a latent variable. To measure a, a variable in social science, but this variable is unobserved variable, latent variable. We need to check reliability of these items to measure this latent variable. So what's the meaning of real reliability? Actually, reliability is uh, 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 something about uh, uh, understanding of respondent, understanding of respondent about items and uh, variables. So when we say we need to check reliability or uh, we refer to reliability, it means we need to check understandability of our variable, our latent variable, and the items to measure this variable. All respondents have same understanding or not. So we need to check, we need to check and make sure about understanding or responding. So reliability doesn't refer to, doesn't refer to content of items or variable. Only refer to understandability. Right? So, in a formal way, uh, reliability is will, uh, will the measure yield the same result on other occasion? Means if we uh, um, repeat this study in, with other respondents, also their understanding is same as first group or not, right? Should be same. Understanding, not answer. So this is the meaning of reliability. So based on this meaning, how we check reliability? Reliability, there are different ways to check reliability. One way is test, retest reliability. Means we check reliability with the one group and again after a period of time we conduct this research with same group and see if we get because we expect to get uh, same result right if we get different result means there are something wrong understanding of respondent in first time and second time is different. So our uh, items and uh, our measurement tool is not reliable. So this is one method for uh, testing reliability. Another method is inter-rater reliability. This is very common to social, uh, in social science discipline. We ask different judges, we ask different raters to read our questionnaire, to read our item, and give their comment, give their comment about reliability, about understanding of items, the meaning of item, understanding the meaning of items, right? So we ask some expert, and judges and raters to read our items, to read our question and check understandability. 
And another common method is internal consistency. We have several criteria to assess internal consistency of uh, variable, internal consistency of uh, latent variable or construct. Like uh, current batches alpha, uh, theta, McDonald omega, composite reliability, and uh, some other uh, uh, criteria to assess internal consistency. So, based on third method, we use some uh, statistical technique to measure and to assess reliability of uh, latent variables. And reliability refer to latent variable level, construct level. I observed some uh, student, uh, their framework, their model has 10 different uh, variables. And they use uh, three items, for example, for each variable, to measure each variable. So in total, they have 30 items to measure 10 variables, right? When, we want to, when they want to check reliability, put all items together and check oral reliability. It's not meaningful. Internal consistency and reliability using these criteria is only for one latent variable and items of one latent variable. So this is another way to check reliability. Second and third one is common in social science. For third one, we use these criteria. And for second one, we interview actually with some expert before uh, uh, conducting our actual uh, research and data collection. So these two uh, can be conducted as a pilot test or pre-test before actual data collection. So this is the meaning of reliability and different methods for reliability. But what's the meaning of validity? Validity is different. Validity, we need to make sure that our item represent meaning of latent variable, meaning of construct. If we apply, if we use three items to measure satisfaction, we need to make sure that these three items are suitable to measure uh, satisfaction. So for validity, we check appropriateness of uh, items to measure a specific construct. We check suitability of items to measure construct. So in validity, we need to make sure that these items are suitable items to measure this specific construct. So validity refer to content, right? So you can understand the meaning of reliability and validity. In reliability, items should be understandable. In validity, items should be suitable and represent meaning of latent variable. There are different methods for assessment of validity, like face validity. Face validity is uh, very, face validity and uh, here interrated reliability can be conducted together. So you can interview with expert to understand understandability of items and also to check suitability of items. First one is inter-rater reliability, and second one is face validity. So in face validity, you interview with somebody, you interview with some expert, and check with them that these items are suitable items to measure this value. Another one is content validity. Content validity is come from literature. So you have to adopt your item from literature to make sure that these items are suitable item to measure this construct, these latent variables. We have another type of validity like criterion validity, like nominological validity, that we test this type of validity in our framework. 
So the relationship between variable and uh, some uh, criterion variable or dependent variable should be uh, the relationship the, the relationship should be significant based on previous study. If in previous study we had significant relationship between, for example, satisfaction and loyalty, now we check relationship and see, and based on this, we can check items to measure satisfaction or suitable items or not. So these two are uh, criteria and nomological validity. We have another type, convergent validity. The items to measure each construct should be convergent, should be high correlated, should be high correlated, should be convergent for convergent validity. We have some criteria to assess convergent validity. And another type of validity is discriminant validity. Discriminant validity is distinction between different latent variable, different construct in our model. It means, uh, for example, if we, apply, if we adopt some item to measure satisfaction and also adopt some item to measure loyalty, these two variables should be different enough, should be distinct from each other, should be different should not be similar concept, should not represent uh, same meaning, same concept. So this is uh, the meaning of discriminant validity. So we need to make sure that if we have two different variables, these two variables are different variables, not same variable with different names, right? So for validity, we need to check face validity. Face validity is based on interview with expert and in pilot test and pretest. Content validity is based on literature. For criterion, nomological, convergent, and discriminant validity, we assess this type of validity after data collection, actual data collection. So there are some uh, uh, criteria, criteria to assess this type of uh, validity. Uh, in the uh, next slides, actually, I uh, um, present the meaning of each one in detail, the meaning of indicator reliability, the meaning of uh, uh, internal consistency and different criteria for assessment of internal consistency like uh, Kornbach Alpha, like uh, composite reliability. Uh, this average uh, variance extracted is uh, a criterion to assess convergent validity. So, uh, uh, and discriminant validity, for discriminant validity, we have uh, many criteria to assess discriminant validity. But here I just uh, presented three criteria to uh, assess discriminant validity. Uh, this is, uh, something for assessment of uh, missing part of reflective, missing part of formative construct, formative latent variable. To uh, calculate this missing part, we need to collect, this part is important to know in this stage, only this part. When you realize your latent variable is formative latent variable. When you realize and identify, for example, you measure satisfaction based on formative items. Okay, you measure satisfaction of hotel based on service, based on equipment, based on personnel and environment. So these items are formative, right? So you realize this one and put this item in your questionnaire. So you measure satisfaction in formative way. If you have formative construct, formative latent variable, you need to add one more item. This item called overall item. 
overall item. This overall item represent overall meaning of formative consonant. What does it mean? You have item to measure satisfaction, right? You have item to measure satisfaction. You have four items to measure satisfaction. Service, equipment, personnel, and environment. Okay? And these four items are formative. For these four items, you need to add one more item, overall item. And by this item, you measure overall satisfaction of respondent. So you need to add one item. Okay, overall, I'm satisfied with this hotel. Okay? When you include this overall item for formative construct, before starting analysis, you need to assess relationship between formative and this overall item. And relationship should be higher than 0 0.7. For example, here. For example, here. You use formative items to measure satisfaction. And also you add, here I uh, actually added reflective item. Can be reflective or overall, but overall is easier. Okay? Don't consider these three items and just I add, for example, one item that I overall is satisfied with this hotel. So when we assess the relationship or the effect of formative on overall item, this relationship should be higher than 0 0.7. It means, it means formative uh, latent variable formative latent variable explain more than 50% of overall item. Again, this relationship should be to the power of two. 0 0.7 to the power of two is 0 0.5. So 50%. So this relationship should be more than 0 0.7. So we need to add, later I will show you how. But to design your questionnaire, you need to add one overall item for formative construct to measure and to assess external validity or convergent validity for formative. So all these criteria that I explained Indicator reliability, internal consistency, in average variance ex extracted for convergent validity, all are for reflective construct. For formative construct, we need to use other criteria. One is this criteria. This criteria is for external validity or convergent validity and some other criteria to assess reliability and validity of formative construct that are different with reflective. What are these criteria for formative? Later I will show you in a statistic. In a statistic I will show you how we assess reliability and validity of formative construct. But for now, just you need to know that for formative and reflective, we need to apply different criteria for assessment of reliability and 